I call this message the footstools of America. You know, um, black people, our ancestors were brought here to be literal footstools for the European terrorists. You know, they 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 are the original terrorists when it comes to our people. But you know, they they take our music, they take our culture. I mean, like anything about our culture, they have taken it, or or have we given it to them? Because at this point, I'm finding finding it kind of hard to really decide which of the two. From what I see nowadays, you know, we talk about how you know white people have stolen everything, but. If you look around nowadays, it's just I just really find that hard to believe by the way a lot of these black folks of today act. I mean you have a large section of black black people in America that are against reparations. They are against removing the white man's foot off their fucking necks there is a large section of Negroes that are okay with being the literal footstool you know you a lot of these black folks I've, I've come to find that are against reparations aren't really against reparations per se they're against losing European companionship. You know, a lot of these Negroes today have white friends, you know, white lovers, quote unquote white family members. And if a lot if we were to get reparations, a lot of us won't have that companionship. A lot of us won't have those people in our lives anymore. A lot of these black people would rather lose a lung, lose an arm, lose an eye, than lose the love of the European terrorist. You know, if 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 you if black America gets reparations, you know, that means the TIs of the world. Um the Barack Obamas of the world, the the Jason Whitlocks, um, I mean, just just go down the list. The Oprah Winfrey's. If Black America get what's owed to them, all of these Negroes go away. If Black America gets the reparations, what's owed to them? That means, as a group. We are no longer the footstools of this fucking abusive country. If you get reparations, that means the LeBrons go away. The Kobe Bryants go away. The Terry Cruises go away. Um, what the, the, the Candace Owens, the Candace Owens, they know they go away. But it's just so fucked up because when you look around... Like I said, there are more Negroes out here fighting for the love of white people than anything else. You know, they they walk around with Black Lives Matter signs and we think they're okay. You know, they, they play our music and we think they're okay. These people have perfected the art of wasting our motherfucking time and we go right along for the fucking ride with no problem you know you have all these these uh boot licking house negroes that's running around whether they're police rappers you know they're all house negroes all of these negroes that are in a position to try to tell me and you something or speak for us 
those are traitors, man. They are footstools for Europeans. If you get reparations, if I get reparations, that means none of these people matter anymore. That means chasing a football, chasing a basketball, uh, wanting to entertain the European or, or be socially accepted, as they used to say. If we get our reparations, all of that shit goes away. And yes, you will have a section of Negroes that will give the money right back to the terrorist. But that's okay. We cannot worry about them. When the ship is sinking, you leave the rats. We have to do more. Reparations is what we need. Nothing we should, as a people, as a group, reparations should be the only thing that we are talking about. But I guess until we learn how to deal with these Negroes that are okay with being footstools, that want to speak up and tell white America, tell these European terrorists, that we don't want reparations or that we don't need reparations until we learn to address and deal with those pe- those type of people among us we're going to always have major fucking problems <laughs>